Just using plants we picked up off the nursery, for instance, Dryopterus ethrosaura. What a stunning fur. Look at how the foliage has that wonderful coppery tone. And notice how well that sits with the bark of the vegetable tree there. It's a winning combination. At Chelsea, we found everywhere woodland planting and a celebration of shade. Not seeing shade as a problem, seeing shade as an opportunity where we can grow hostas, hostas such as Alba marginata, or here at the back, really, really hitting you in the eye, Hosta patriot. A wonderful combination. Contrast of colour, contrast of shape, contrast of texture. The three key elements of good planting. So, here we are, we've got burnished together and I'm really excited because burnished was probably my favourite trend at Chelsea. Absolutely, we saw it all over Andy Sturgeon's garden and he had a star plant that the crowds were swooning for. He had Isoplexus canariensis, a bright orange, very tender digitalis. It was an amazing thing and something that excited even the hard-nosed garden designers who had done Chelsea for years when he unloaded it off the boundary. Food and art. However, the frustrating thing being, if I use that for my clients, too tender, it would die and I'd have to replace the plants. Yeah. In this country, it's really a hothouse plant, unless you live somewhere southern like, like Cornwall or the Silly Islands. But Wyvale is the answer to your dreams because they have this <laughs> incredible digitalis. Digitalis illumination flame. And not only is it gorgeous to look at, but these fantastic burnished fingers of flowers. It's perennial, truly perennial. Not like the normal biennial digitalis. This will give you a flower for very long periods, each year, year after year after year. And we it's like that amazing. because not only is it good value, it's less work in the garden, we're all up for low maintenance, obviously. And years and years of pleasure from one planting has got to be a good thing. There's something else I'd like to talk about just uh, while we happen to have these two gorgeous plants next to each other. This second one is called a Stilby Brennan, and both of these plants actually will tolerate shade, which is an interesting thing. Now, here we can see that they are a very similar form or shape. They both have this elegant spire like form, but a very different texture. Texture is a very subtle thing that a lot of people really don't understand, but I think that's a lovely illustration that this is fluffy and light and airy, this is solid and shiny. So similar form, tonal colour, very different texture. Texture is a subtle thing, but it's very important for planting. Is they will gently self-seed, so once you have them, you'll have them forever. What I love about them is they've taken over almost from lupins to give you these tall summer spires. Height is so important in any planting combination. And I think you'll agree that it really is swoon worthy. And that's what people did at Chelsea. They swooned over the LG garden because they were in love with patterns. We've seen it before, but it's fresh and exciting, particularly they still be giving you lots of froth. These wonderful, gorgeous little centurias poking out of me. It's a super winning combination. So excited to talk about primary. When I went to Chelsea, I saw Hugo Bunn's garden and the Loxetone garden with these quite hard primary colours. I didn't know what I made of it at first, so I was a little bit out of my comfort zone. But I did notice that these primary colours were blended, either with grasses or with white. And that means they're much easier to use, almost like a sort of crazy meadow effect. Um, and I was a bit nervous when we decided to put these plants together. I thought, am I going to get it? Is it really going to convey 
that trend that we've seen at Chelsea. But you know, I'm absolutely thrilled with what we've achieved here. Oh, Caroline's completely right. I'm scared of yellow and red and blue all together, and I think most <laughs> of our clients are as well. Traditionally, people like pastel colours in the garden. They think they're soothing and gentle in the eye. Red and blue and yellow are challenging. They're not easy colours, but we saw it done in such a new, fresh way. Hugo had blended it with these beautiful grasses. There was a lot of arid landscape that he put these colours in, and they totally worked and as we built this planting scheme up together here at Wybell the more we added the more excited we got. I'm really thrilled by this because we've seen red white and blue done hundreds of times before traditionally bedding schemes and it always looks a bit old-fashioned but here it looks young and fresh and new. The dahlia zings out amongst these delphiniums. I think it really works. I, I do and I think the real for me the absolute star is one of the more understated plants which is this Coriolis. What a fantastic texture. Really wonderful and really again blending the other colours together. Yes, with that slightly more lemon yeah, yeah. yeah. it's not quite exactly. as harsh, which just blends through down to the salvia and the lavender again. I think it works. I think it's very harmonious. Another big trend from Chelsea this year. We've recreated it with some plants from Wyvern. I think it is so working brilliantly. I love this sort of silvery, burnished sort of seed at the bottom with this festuca, wonderful sort of frothiness up through the echinacea and the agastache. I think it's a fabulous, very interesting combination. It's quite different to really focus on really two colours, the orange and the teal. And that coppery orange has been very strong in interior design. Uh, we've seen it inside uh, for a few seasons now. Wonderful to see it venturing outdoors into the garden and creating a strong new trend. It's buried in Wyvale foliage because we're in the woodland area, which of course was such a massive trend at Chelsea 2016. We saw it on Cleve West Garden so beautifully. A dapple canopy followed by lots of ferns and shade loving gorgeous plants, which of course give the designer an opportunity to rise to that challenge and make shade less of a scary thing. It's a real challenge that people are responding to and enjoying and embracing shade. And in fact, even more than that, I think many designers are not even seeing it as a challenge at all, but as an opportunity, as, a, as a, an oasis of calm, cool, quiet, where there are no bright colours to distract the eye, the shapes, the textures become much more evident. So hostas like, for instance, Patriots, which has that lovely white variegated edge, really shine out of the gloom uh, and really make a statement in the shady garden. And of course ferns are so important and Wyvale has an extensive range of ferns for, for dry shade, for boggy shade positions. It's, it's an amazing selection they have here. And of course trees, lest we forget, they do field grown transplants, container trees to create this sort of wonderful canopy you see above us with these native birches. Here at Wyvale with Ben Gregory who is Plant and Development Coordinator. Ben, tell me what that job entails. Well, it means trialling a lot of varieties, um, going around nurseries, breeders and um, other suppliers, finding new product to suit our customers. It's a, it's a good job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, where did your interest in horticulture come from? Um, well, it's in the family. Um, my granddad had a nursery which I kind of brought up on. So when I was about 14, I, I started working at another nursery and then I uh, developed from there, I did a degree, and um, now I'm working at Wyvern. And you're clutching something. Tell us about this fabulous looking sea steep. So this is Rogersia bronze peacock. Um, it has won the, the most popular vote today from our customers poll. So um, it's a fantastic new selection of Rogersia. Really dark leaves, bright, vibrant pink flowers, stays compact, real improvement for Rogersia. What more can you want from a plant? I certainly know it got my vote. Yes, <laughs> and mine too. You can see the yellow stickers here telling us it's number one. Everybody's it's got straight. everything, hasn't it? Coloured foliage, as you say, that nice compact size. It's even coordinated with both of our outfits. What, what, what? <laughs> uh, so what are you working on this year? What's the most exciting new product that I assume is for 2017? We've got a whole range. It is, it's been so much fun. We're looking at new fruit ranges, new, well, a lot of shrubs, a lot of hydrangeas. We have our flagships, um, which is hydrangea, formiums, and a lot more herbaceous. So there's a, there's a lot to come, a lot more exciting product through Wyvern.